Thank you so much for joining me today. This is Whitney with the Yoga Art Space Studio in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and I'm pleased to present to you an extra special edition of these yoga practices. Today our focus is on yoga to help us deepen our ability to get close to the splits, front splits and side splits. Now we know that the actual process of achieving the splits is not necessarily the goal but rather the opening that happens along the journey. And oftentimes as we physically try to open up the body, we end up energetically open up, opening up the chakras and vice versa. So in this process that we have today, we're going to use a technique where we approach a pose at an already good depth and then we add a contraction do this contraction holding for a second releasing for a second doing the contraction five times before holding for five full breath cycles in the deep deepened version of the stretch now when we do that contraction what happens is that the muscle after the release comes to an even deep and deeper version of the stretch so We'll approach several different poses that will help us in the front and the side splits. And from this, know that you can do this practice several times a day if you are trying to build up to your splits, even three times in a row, two or three times a day. So the first thing that we'll do is come down onto our knees and it's recommended to grab a block for today's practice. We'll step the left foot forward to the front of the mat and already let the hips relax forward into a good version of the stretch. From here, the contraction that we'll do is pressing the back ankle down into the ground and release. Contract, release. Contract, release. Twice more. Contract, release. Hold for an extra moment on this last one. Release and then sink into the stretch for five good breath cycles. Breathing in and out into this extra depth that you have found here. Then releasing back, we find that left leg straightening in front of us. You can either stay here in the center or take your block and sit that left glute onto the block. Then we already come into the forward fold in a good version of the stretch and when we do our contractions on this side, we press that front ankle into the ground. And release, two, release, third contraction, release, fourth, and fifth, a good one. Release and relax into the stretch for five good breath cycles. Inhaling and exhaling, feeling this wonderful depth. And if you'd like to play with your splits, seeing if you've opened up any more, you can try it out before we switch sides. The right foot goes forward, and then we contract by pressing the back ankle into the ground. Release, two, release, three, release, four, release, five, release, and sink into the best version of this stretch, letting the body weight relax even further downward. Just using the block here for comfort. And then as we begin to straighten this left leg, again, you can stay here in the center or bring the block back behind you, sitting the, the right glute onto the block we lean forward to an already good version of this stretch, and then we press that heel into the ground, release, two, release, three, release, four, release, and five, release, sinking into the beautiful stretch even deeper than before, five steady breath cycles. If you'd like to test out your splits, you're welcome to try it out, scooting either the front foot forward or the back foot back. 
test it out, see where you're at at this moment, and then bring the legs back together. Here we come into our frog pose. We don't need the block for this one. The knees come wide, the feet go straight out from the knees, and we relax the elbows onto the ground. Our contraction here is pressing both knees into the ground and release. Two, release, three, release, four, release, and five, release. And now breathe into this frog pose for five good breath cycles. Before sinking forward to come out of it. Next, we straighten the left leg out to the left and our weight is over the right leg that's bent out to the side. We lean forward until we feel the hip opening in this stretch. And to contract, we press that left ankle into the ground. Release, two, release, three, release, four, release, and five release. Hold in the, this pose for a few breaths and then go on to the second side, pressing the ankle into the ground. Five, release, four, and three, release two, release one, and sink into the depth of this stretch, relaxing for a few more breaths. Aiming to stay in the stretches around 20 seconds or so, which is about five breath cycles. Only rising upright after we've held. And lastly, we rock back onto our glutes the legs will spread open in a figure V position. The arms will start to walk forward until we're, we're already in a good version of the stretch. And then this contraction is both heels pressing into the ground and releasing. Four, press, release, three, release, two, release, one, release, and then hold this stretch for a few extra breaths. If you have time today, you're welcome to go into a Shavasana pose for as much time as you have. Again, this is a good cycle to repeat several times throughout the day if you're really trying to work towards that splits and using the splits to help open up the sacral chakra. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is Whitney with Yoga Art Space. May we all be filled with light and happiness and peace. Namaste.